Obamacare was supposed to help families with pre-existing conditions, not hurt them. But that has not been the case for the Daverts. We are such a unique family and we've overcome many obstacles in our life. And now it's a shame that one of the obstacles we have overcome is our own government to, to pay for health care. The Daverts are facing a 300% increase in their health insurance bill. Potentially, it could cost them up to $10,000 a year on their fixed income. It's, it's, you know, how can you fit an expense like that in a three-month period of time when we were be just making that ends meet before this all happened? Like millions of others, the Davids lost their private insurance once Obamacare went into effect. Well, first I was shocked because I was, I heard on the news and their own president tell us time and time again, if you like your insurance, you can keep your insurance. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. And I expected perhaps, well, maybe we would have a, a, a larger premium or um, I didn't expect to get a letter stating that it was totally canceled. The Daverts always had access to affordable health insurance. Parents Melissa and Ken receive insurance through Medicare. They purchased a private policy under Blue Cross for the children. Welcome to the health insurance marketplace. Then, in the fall, the Daverts learned, like millions of others, that their private plan under the new health care law was canceled. Hello. The Daverts had no time to lose, given their disabilities. Melissa and the children have brittle bone disease, which requires treatment from specialists two hours from their home. A few months ago, um, I had an incident and both of my legs were broken, so I had to go down to the hospital ER and I was there for a few days and had surgery and I mean that in itself is very expensive and we thankfully had insurance. They are also prone to respiratory infections. Ken has difficulties from cerebral palsy, including asthma. As soon as the family learned the children's policies were canceled, they began immediately trying to buy insurance through the federal government's health care exchange. Like millions of others, they had no luck on the website. They called. After one hour of answering questions, they were told they would get a response one day before the deadline to sign up. On that day, they were put on hold for 30 minutes and disconnected. They waited another 30 minutes, only to be told this. The woman came back and said, well, we've lost your application. <laughs> so, you've lost my application. I don't understand how that could happen. Well, ma'am, we can't find it. You're going to have to apply again. So they did. Now it is three days before their insurance expires and still no word. Oh, Melissa called out. back and was told something she didn't think possible under Obamacare. They couldn't buy insurance for their children on the exchange and their representative couldn't explain why. So I'd be more than happy to do a new application to see if it makes me, if it oh. anything. Uh, apply through Medicaid directly. I, I have tried, I have already tried to apply for Medicaid for my children like three weeks ago. They're not eligible for Medicaid. So that is silly for us to do that again. Are you saying that I have to reapply for them again? This would be the third time. The Davids found a plan, the one that will cost them up to $10,000 a year. But because it is through the private market, they won't qualify for subsidies by going through the exchange, if they qualify. To help pay the bill, Ken is back in the job market. I can only work part-time in my condition, um, but I can get a couple hours, you know, about 20 hours a week is about all I can work but it, it will certainly help in the long run. The family will apply again for health insurance on the federal exchange. Even if they are successful, they doubt they'll qualify for subsidies. The children can qualify for a state program that will pay for out-of-pocket medical expenses related to the bone disease, but beyond that, they face a looming bill year after year. There is something that could be done and uh, could be done fairly easily. Uh, and there's no reason that both Democrats and Republicans in Congress couldn't get together and make it happen in uh, this year.
Jack McHugh is the Mackinac Center's senior legislative analyst. The first step, and it's not that hard to do, is to eliminate many of the insurance mandates that are uh, baked into the current uh, Obamacare policy. The law could provide a basic uh, health care entitlement for a lot less money with a lot less turbulence and, and disruption and chaos to people's lives. <laughs>